Hey there, you guys. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the dangers of mayo. So I have been looking around on the internet and I was just browsing along, minding my own business, and I came across an article that said 10 great plant hacks, and I'm always up for a good hack. So I looked into it and I noticed that there was a couple in there that I did not approve of, including putting mayonnaise on your plant leaves. Now, first of all, why? Why would you, who thought of this? Who thought looking at a thing of mayonnaise, just looking at a jar of mayonnaise and thought, you know what this could do? We could put this on our plant leaves and it's gonna make them shiny. That's the reasoning for it. That's why the tip, or that's why the tip exists, uh, to make your plant leaves shiny. And I don't agree with that for several reasons, and I'm going to outline those. The first reason being that putting mayonnaise on your plant leaves is going to kind of create the opposite uh, it's going to create the opposite of what you want it to do. Yes, initially it's going to make your plant leaves shiny, but you know what dried out mayonnaise does? It gets sticky. And when it gets sticky, dust and dirt and bugs are going to stick to your leaves. And you're going to have a bigger problem than you would if you just wiped it off with, with some water and wiped down your leaves. Second of all, it's going to mess with the anatomy of your plant and its general functions. So on the plant leaves, um, first of all, on the top we have the cuticle, and on most plant leaves, or all plant leaves, we do have that cuticle. And with the cuticle, that is going to allow for uh, water to stay in and to run off of the plant leaves easily. If you mess with that by putting anything on your plant leaves is not going to have the effect that the plant intended and that can really damage it and we want to make sure we are doing the best for our plants and not spearing mayonnaise on them next up we want to uh, think about what else goes into the leaves or what else is on the leaves so there are stomata on the bottom of the leaves and these are little pores or stoma or what makes up stomata and those are pores or openings within the leaves that allows for gas exchange to occur within the leaves it allows the plant to release oxygen and intake in carbon dioxide and with that carbon dioxide that is taking in that's what it uses to make food during both photosynthesis so if i don't have or the plant doesn't have uh, the ability to breathe when you put mayonnaise over the stoma and the stomata, then it's not going to be able to produce food and you're essentially going to starve it or it is going to have to work harder in order for it to create food for itself. Another thing mayonnaise can do when you put it on plant leaves is not only get into the stoma, but when it gets into the stoma or if it gets in between the cells or the inner cell or any inner cellular, it can block transportation of some of the nutrients and flow between those plant cells that it needs to do. And since mayonnaise is made up of eggs and, and oil, you can see that oil and water don't mix and that can interfere with the, uh, the transpiration and the transportation between the cells and within the, within the plant leaves as well. So another reason why you shouldn't put mayonnaise on your plant leaves. Now another, another reason why, I think this is the third reason why you shouldn't put mayonnaise on your plant leaves is if you are putting the mayonnaise on the plant leaves and you have your plant in direct light or have it outside, that is going to act kind of like a tanning oil. Now, you can see how pale I am. I've never used 
tanning oil before, but what I've heard and what I know about it is that it helps attract, it makes you more reflective so then you're able to absorb more sun. It's essentially going to do that for your plants too and you're going to burn your plants. It's going to cook it because you have smeared it with oils and egg on your plant and it's going to cook it essentially. Have you ever just left mayonnaise out? I, I haven't, but I can assume since it's oil and eggs that it's going to rot and it's going to attract pests to your plants. That's what we're trying to avoid here. We're trying to avoid pests being attracted to our plants and eating them and putting mayonnaise on your plants and essentially letting it rot or dry out, that's gonna provide a food source for other insects that could cause damage to your plants or invade the environment around it, even if it's not directly impacting your plants. So think about that too. That's all I had for reasons why you shouldn't put mayonnaise on your plant leaves. What I suggest instead is just taking a plain old cloth with some water. Um, if you have to, a little bit of very, very gentle soap, very diluted to clean off your leaves and that should make it shiny itself. If the plant is meant to be shiny, it will be shiny. Do not try to make it do something it is not meant to do because that can damage it. And I just don't think it looks very good anyway. So with that, if you wanna hear other reasons or other plant hacks that you shouldn't do or that I've seen such as watering your plants with milk or mixing coffee grounds into your house plant soil. I could talk about that too. Just let me know in the comments below and I can get on that. I also, in the info box below, I will have some links to some of the research that I did on this. I'm uh, talking about stomata and stoma. If you want to learn more about that, it's always fun to uh, know more how your plants um, physiology works and how you can help promote it. So I can talk about that more as well. Um, otherwise, thanks you guys. I'll talk to you next time.